Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we've found what happens to the image position as we move the object farther and farther to the right, farther away from the boundary between the index of refraction being equal to 1 and the index of refraction being equal to 1.5. And we notice that if the object goes out to infinity, the image will find the position 40 centimeters away from the boundary at the same side as the boundary. But what happens now when we start moving the object closer and closer to the boundary? We'll move an object 5 centimeters away from the boundary and 1 centimeter away from the boundary to see what happens to the image. Will the image always be on the same side as the object, no matter where we place the object? Well, we're about to find out. So again, we use the same equation, n1, 1.5 divided by 5, which is now the new, the new object distance, plus 1 over s prime, which is what we're looking for. So now we're looking for s6 prime. That will be equal to 1 minus 1.5 divided by a positive radius of curvature because, again, the boundary is convex towards the object. Solving for 1 over s6 prime. This is equal to a negative 0.5 over 20, and that becomes minus 1.5 over well, that would be 5. Common denominator here looks like it's 20, so this becomes equal to minus 0.5 over 20 and minus 6 over 20. And so that becomes equal to minus 6.5 over 20, which means that S6 prime is equal to the inverse, or minus 20 over 6.5. Looks like it's about 3. So 20 divided by 6.5, that gives us about 3.08 centimeters. And it's negative, negative 3.08 centimeters. The negative, of course, implies that it's still on the same side as the object. And 3 centimeters means it's a little bit closer than the object. So here, this would be the image. Image 6, a little bit closer than the object at 3 centimeters versus 5 centimeters away from the boundary. So now let's try one more with the object at 1 centimeter. So 1.5 divided by 1 plus 1 over S7 prime is equal to 1 minus 1.5 over 20, which is the radius of curvature of the boundary. It's positive because it's convex towards the object. So we have 1 over S7 prime is equal to negative 0.5 over 20 and minus 1.5 over 1. Common denominator again will be 20 and so this is equal to minus 0.5 over 20 minus 30 over 20 so that becomes 1 over S7 prime is equal to minus 30.5 over 20 which means that S7 prime is equal to minus 20 over 30.5 so it looks like it's still a negative value still on the same side as the object and it looks like it's smaller than 1 20 divided by 30.5 and we get minus 0.66 so minus 0.66 about two-thirds the way between the object and the image so you can see that no matter where we place the object the image will always be on the same side if the curvature is convex relative to the object and the index of refraction on the right side is greater than the index of refraction on the left side. For all cases, with all objects, no matter where they were, the image was somewhere on the same side as the object. And the range is anywhere from 0 to 40 centimeters out. Nothing beyond 40 centimeters, even when the object was placed near infinity. And that's how we learn about refraction.